Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a brief overview of my onboard water system and my overland shower setup and how those two systems work together. If you've seen some of my older videos, then you might have seen my previous video I did on both my overland shower system and my onboard water setup. Well, as you can see, kind of a lot has changed since then. So today's basically the update video. And I'm gonna show you guys how all of this works together and how it actually sets up even faster now and more efficient in how I shower anywhere on the road. With nice steamy hot water. All right, let's take a look. So let's start by talking about water storage. So if you've seen my previous videos, then you might remember that large 13 gallon slanted front runner water tank that I had that pretty much filled the entirety of the rear of the Jeep behind my uh, rear passenger seats. Well, you'll notice the rear passenger seats are gone and I now have this goose gear plate system in place. And this is actually what I'm using to secure this five gallon front runner jerry can. So you have a cap right there. And then we have the single hose barb right there. And this guy runs down and then underneath the carpet, and if you've seen my previous video, you'll remember up above this plastic trim piece right here, or I'm sorry, below it, there's a rubber grommet where the wiring for the tail light enters. And that's also where we put our switch for our water system. Turn that guy on. And behind this tail light, there's actually this massive void space. So I was able to mount uh, basically an RV water pump. So the line goes from our tank in there over the wheel well to the water pump and then using a series of fittings in this front runner tap that's what supplies our water and the really cool part about that is now that it's off let's get the water out we have a series of quick connect fittings which is how i'm going to show you in a second i now connect my water heater to that for my shower and then the next big change is this Julka hot tap system, which we're gonna take a look at here in a second. All right guys, so this is my Julka V2.0 hot tap or something like that they call it, with the optional soft carrying bag. This is something you have to purchase separately, but I really like the bag because it allows me to carry the whole setup in this really nice portable bag. And it's a lot easier to store than the big plastic tote that the kit actually came with. So it has these really nice heavy zippers, which I like. In the lid, we have this sand filter with a quick connect on it. And then what I really like about the Julka system, other than it being all in one, is this hot water heater, oops, dripping water a little bit, is uh, on the smaller side for a hot water heater. But what I really like about it is these series of quick connects that Julka supplies. So, Inside, you can see we have like a series of hoses and whatnot, you know, it comes with quite a lot of hose. So if you wanted to, you know, extend like, I don't know, 15, 20 feet to a water source, you could probably make that happen. And it comes with hot water lines and blue water. It comes with our really nice shower head, which has the magnetic handle on it. I really like, but like I was saying, what's really great is it has these uh, plastic quick connect fittings and what I did was I took this garden hose fitting and then I took one of my quick connects that I use for my tap and what's really neat is for my fresh water you can see I just simply pop that on and then I come over here to my fresh water system and then bam and then I turn my water on and when my hot water heaters hung on the other side which I'm going to show you in a second I get hot water straight from my water source. It's perfect. And then of course we have our hot water coming out. There we go. To our shower head. And then we, we can put that wherever we need it. And then yeah, extra tubing. And what's really cool is even the gas line that it comes with has this really nice quick connect. So we can hook that straight to our tank. And then once again, okay, bam. Everything's on in seconds. So let's go get that set up and I'll show you uh, how I use it. All right, another piece of gear you probably remember is my absolutely awesome quick pitch ensuite. 
Uh, I had this thing on my original roof rack set up with my original shower system and you can see I've transferred it over to the Ursa Minor and I absolutely love this thing. This thing, I mean, I use it all the time. I just love, oh, it's a little dusty. I just love how quick it deploys. It's great for pretty much everything, taking showers, changing, um, you know, showering, of course. Man, there we go. And yeah, I actually uh, do use this thing all the time. I know a lot of different people make similar, you know, uh, awning rooms now, but I still really love my quick pitch one. Yeah, it's really great. And then once that's in place, so then I just take my hot water heater and you can see I have my little five gallon propane tank right here, or the five pound with that little lip right there. So I just take the Julka handle and I run this around a couple times, a little bungee cord action. And I know it might look a little bit silly, but yeah, it works perfectly. Voila, there we have it. All right, then once that's hung up, we have our water line, which is our hook to our main water system. Simply pop that in. I've already, connected our gas line so we'll just pop that on oh yeah that's flown and then last we have our shower head and that's plugged in our shower head bam now let's go turn on our water all right so the water line's going from our hot water here don't mind the bag of trash into our quick connect and then we have ours whoop uh oh uh oh i left the shower head on but there we go Yep, lots of, let's see if it's hot. I have it turned up all the way. Oh yeah, it's already nice and toasty. Oh man, I might just take a shower. And then you can see we have our handle. There it goes. Okay, it's getting a little heavy because it's full of water and it's getting a little slick, but yeah, that's pretty much that. So it's pretty cool. And then this handle, I, what I pretty much do is I just will kind of hang that guy up there or hang it over in the corner and yeah, it works pretty well actually. A lot of people have asked me what I do with the floor, but it's pretty much that simple. Have the shower tap up there. And then down below, I have my wooden platform. People always say, oh, but it's gonna be dirty, you know, and whatnot. So once I use it, I just rinse it off and then I put it out to dry. It takes a few minutes and it's no big deal, I swear. Another thing that people have asked me about is how do I fill my water tank? So it's pretty simple actually. Any time that I'm thinking about filling my water tank, if I'm just pretty diligent, I can always find like a tap or something that I can pump water out of. So I'll just use this coil hose. Often at gas stations, um, go check out campgrounds real quick. You know, pretty much anywhere where I can find a faucet, I will get water from. Uh, rest areas and then I just take this guy I use the ball valve and then you know open it up and then bam uh, another thing that I've gotten not too long ago that I actually started using and I just used yesterday is this large uh, gosh what is it called this 5.3 gallon Wolverine tough bottle and this is basically just a large plastic like a reinforced plastic bag like super heavy mill um yeah water storage bag and it folds down to like nothing which i really love and that lets me hold an extra five gallons of water another thing i carry and this is one of the greatest things that i've ever gotten i actually use this for backpacking also this one's new it replaced the one that i had for a long time this is my sawyer water filter so if i do want to filter any of the water that i have uh, in this container if i'm you know don't think it's the cleanest I can fill one of these bottles with a gallon of water, hang it up, and it will slowly trickle down and filter a whole gallon of water in probably like, I don't know, you know a few minutes or 10, 15, 20 minutes or whatever. Uh, this is also a good way to carry an extra gallon or two of water. And then these are more for backpacking, hiking, if I need to carry extra water. It's just like an ever new bottle and then some platypus. These are like two liters a piece. And then one more thing that I have uh, this is from the RV world. I saw somebody using this. this. This is called a water bandit. And basically, if you go to some campgrounds, they'll have 
cut the threads off the faucets because they you know honestly don't want you like hooking up hoses to your uh, rv so you can use this guy and put up to any water source and it has just like a normal garden hose thread on it and basically you know what i would do is probably use this to fill this guy and yeah pretty handy just another way to get water it has a ball valve on it so kind of cool yeah all right guys well if you stuck around uh, maybe think about giving this video a thumbs up and always you know consider subscribing to the channel it helps me out a lot with youtube's algorithm but i hope you like what i showed you here today if you have any questions comments concerns if you have any ideas for how i can improve this system please let me know in the comments down below of course if you want to pick anything up here that i've shown you today i'll put links in the video description down below and otherwise uh yeah you guys take it easy